Welcome 622 friends. We are going to introduce another pattern about Chinese jump roping. We're going to show how you can do it if you have a rope and you have other people doing it with you. And then we are also going to show how you can do it just using two chairs and the rope we created like you'll see in the link with Miss Huntley and I making a Chinese jump rope out of rubber bands. The pattern we're going to do today is diamonds. So you make a diamond shape by tipping up the first rope with your toe and stepping across it, which my friend will demonstrate here in a second. And then you turn 180 degrees to space each holder. You spell your name or the word diamonds, and then the finish is in, out, in, on, and you land it sideways. So I'll have Mava show how to make the diamond shape with the rope. So you just take your toe, tip up the front rope, step over it, and then step inside, and it creates a diamond shape. If you look from the top, it creates a diamond shape. Okay, so she will spell her name. We're going to do it with her. Ready? Go ahead and enter the rope. Again, step over, make that diamond shape. Here we go. M A E V A. In, out, in, and land on sideways. Nice job. Now she gets that level, then they move up to mid calf for level two. And then she tries it again. If she misses, she switched places with one of the holders and we'll show you how to do that eventually as well. Okay, let's try level two. Tip up, step over. M, A, E, V, A. In, out, in, and on. All right, so she missed that one. So can you switch places without taking off the rope? We'll show our friends how to do that too. So you just have one step in the middle and you just switch places. And that's an easy way to switch a new person into the middle. And then Abby will get to try it. Okay, so then you move the rope back down to level one. And then she will make the diamond shape again. I'm gonna zoom in on her toe for this one so you can see it. So she's gonna tip the first one, step over the second one, and that's how she makes her diamond shape. Now she can spell her name and do the finishing pattern. Ready? Here we go. A, B, I, B, A, I, L. In, out, in, and on. I wasn't sure if you were gonna spell Abby or Abigail, so I stopped after the first two letters. <laughs> awesome. So now let's move over to, if you do not have partners to do it with, and you made your own Chinese jump rope, like Ms. Huntley and I showed you how to do, you can hook it onto the legs of a chair, so Antonio is going to do it again. Tip up the first one, step over the second one. Okay, ready? Here we go. A, N, T, O, N, I, O. Together, apart, together, and up and land sideways. Very nice. And then you would just move it higher up on the leg of the chair. Okay? All right. Ready? Step over. Here we go. A, N, T, O, N, I, O. Together, apart, together, up and land sideways. Nice. And then if he lands that one, then he gets to go to level three a little higher. Okay? So we continue doing this until we can't make it anymore. Okay? A, N, T, O, N, I, O. Together, apart, together, and land sideways. Miss it. All right. Okay. You get the idea. C A M E R O N. Together, apart, together, and land on sideways. Okay. And if you land that one, then you move up to level two. Okay. I'm going to move around and go from this side. And stepping over the rope. C A M E R O N. Together, apart, together, and land on. You can also spell the word diamonds if you prefer. If you have like a short name that's only a couple letters, some kids would rather spell diamonds so they get more jumps in. But that is diamonds. Have fun.